This is how to star hop. Hi, my name's Maggie, and I want to show you how to be an epic astronomer. On a clear night, with just your naked eye, you can see around 3,000 stars in the night sky. But there are billions more out there. One of the best places to do stargazing is out in the countryside, away from the streetlights. But if you're going to do this, make sure you wrap up warm and take an adult with you. We don't want you getting lost in the dark. <laughs> when you've found the perfect spot, let your eyes get used to the dark. Your pupils will dilate and you'll see a lot more stars. Now, this process can take up to half an hour, but a handy tip is to wear some sunglasses. Your pupils will dilate a lot quicker and you'll see much faster. I'm going to show you a technique called star hopping so you can find your way across the night sky, looking at different constellations. Now, I want to introduce you to a constellation called Cassiopeia. It's a nice, simple constellation because it only has five stars in it, but it's also great because it's visible all year round. To find Cassiopeia, we need to start with a group of stars called the Plough. Now, the Plough looks like a saucepan up in the sky. So let's start with that. Now, once you've got the Plough, Look at the very edge of the saucepan. The two stars at the end are pointer stars. And if you follow those across the sky, you actually get to a star on its own. This is Polaris, the North Star. Now, the North Star is directly above the North Pole. Now, if you continue in the same direction, about the same distance again, you get to Cassiopeia. The five stars of the W. Using star hopping, you can find many other constellations out there. But there are other techniques too, like star charts and wonderful apps you can get on your phone that point out stars, planets, and many of the other wonderful things out there. And so that's how to be epic at stargazing. Take it high and move your body and follow me, follow me.